Go ahead. Go hey, everybody. Ahead. We're going to do some hanging leg lifts today. I got my calves in with my squats about two days ago. Took the, yesterday off. I wanted to make sure that I'm lifting the weight up and everything, that everything up here is properly healed to do this. Because when you do hanging leg lifts, and I'm doing the easy ones, I'm doing the really easy, stupid easy ones, which is hands here. It's much harder when you start doing it in pull-up position. It's like twice as hard or more. <clears throat> but it totally stresses your upper body and your rotor cuff and everything to do them how I term properly. When you're just lifting your legs up, you're not working everything. You're not working your upper body as, as dramatically as you should. The body, all the muscles in the body have to work together. If you don't work the subsidiary support muscles, you just work the big ones you are aiming for muscle imbalance and getting hurt. Again, my opinion and my experience, what I've seen other people do. So it's uh, about 62 degrees today. We had the heater on, the little propane heater on, which we go open a little bit, mm -hmm. which always takes the oxygen out, makes me feel real stupid, so if I don't make sense, that's why. We turn it off to take the chill out, and it's still cool enough where I've got my little coat on. So I'm gonna do a set here to start it, we started, I put the time down already, so I'm going to have to rewrite it. <clears throat> I want accurate time by 45 minutes, and we're just going to concentrate on abs. That's all we're doing. But again, it works your entire upper body if you do this properly. So, <clears throat> let me restart my time. It's 6.24. When you do this until you get really, really in shape, you have to use this, again, my opinion, as a way to help build the cartilage and ligaments in your whole upper body if you want to get big up here. You have to stretch it. And you need to do it, and again, my opinion, when you do your hanging leg lifts. So what, what that's, you may not be able to see it very well with the shirt on, but that's what I'm doing as I do this here. So I'm stretching forward. I'm stretching back and I'm flexing my lats in the center, which you can't see any of that with my shirt on. But it's too cold in here. I need to just take this off right away. <clears throat> I give it three stretches before I start. And since you're stretching everything, you know, don't overstretch and actually pull ligament. <coughs> you can do that real easy. So I always come back and kind of massage the area a little bit, relax it, because you're going to really stress it when you do your abs. So, first set. One, two, three, that's one rep. One, two, three, one. Four reps. Ah, and I couldn't do a fifth rep. Ah. I used to rip these out in sets of ten and plank it. I'm so out of shape it's not even funny. I mean plank flat, boom. Legs out, everything. Ah, we'll get there. That's four. Ah. We're not there. When you're really weak like this and you can do them, and it really stresses this whole upper area and your lats. You're working everything. So, about 45 minutes. I'm gonna do as many as I can in that 45 minutes until I can't do them anymore. Which means I'm not gonna hit that whole 45 minutes. <laughs> I ain't there yet. I did four in a row when it, with a cold. Cool always slows me down. Make it harder for me to exercise. Too hot or too cold. Just messes me up. 
So, forward, back, flex your lats, forward, back, flex your lats, forward, back, flex your lats. You want three of those. Give it a second, like I said. Don't over tense those ligaments. Mm -hmm. Back down. The longer I make these muscles, the more that gut's going to stick in. And uh, we just ate a little bit ago. And I had pre-workout meals, some coffee, and some eggs. And let's see here. With the food in me and everything, I'm about 177 pounds right now with uh, my little sweatpants on. So 175 pounds empty stomach. You're always going to gain a couple of pounds when you had some food. So I haven't really lost hardly any weight. So my gut, I'd have to forcibly push it out to be where it was just air sucking it in. So what we've added is muscle, which is good. We're on the uh, beginning of the sixth month. We're going to go for our second set here. started this I was barely doing stuff on the ground on a mat it was hard I couldn't even hold myself up on that thing so we're, we're getting there Rome was not built in a day a rock and rip bod is not built in a day it takes perseverance it takes dedication it takes hitting that money consistently all the time with the right diet I'd love to go eat some mashed potatoes and an apple pie, but that doesn't do my diet and my exercise any good at all. In fact, everything I'm doing here, I just tossed it out the door. One day of slacking out, just stuff in my face, just set me back a week or two. That was smart. So. Again, you need to stretch every time until you really, really warm up or you get really big. Legs latch each time. You go forward. Back. Forward. Okay. Like I said, always give it a minute. Back it off. Let those tendons relax, massage them a little bit. It's real important. You gotta stretch them, then you gotta let them relax, because you're really gonna work them the second you actually start doing these. A lot of guys can pick their legs up like this, trying to pick their whole body up and make it plank. That's a whole new level, guys, whole new level. And I ain't there yet. I'm, I'm quite a ways from there, but you will see me get there. You know, if I can do it as an old man from Fat and Weak, you can too. You better believe it. Okay, here we go. This is our third set.
Now as I do these, just like any muscle, it's gonna swell. So my gut's gonna start sticking me out. That's the swelling of the muscles. I'm not lean enough where you can really see what's going on. And I may never get all that lean, that's okay. I'm not after lean and skinny, I'm after strong and uh, as big as I can get. I'm not going to be in a competition, I'm not in a race, I'm just after trying to get Todd as healthy as I can. So that means eat right, sleep, and exercise. So only three things you gotta do, but you gotta do it consistently. No half-ass measures. It's all the way or go home. You don't go to the drag race and forget your motor and your, your gas or your nitrous or your alcohol, whatever you're going to put in it. You just show up with a rolling chassis. Do it all the way or go home. So we're going to stretch here. This will be our fourth set. Remember to massage your ligaments. You will stress them. Okay, here we go. Okay. Sets are getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> yeah, well, you, as you get tired, you're not going to go up as high until you really get strong. Yeah. That's okay. We need each one, each movement of each partial rep. It takes three movements, one rep. Remember that. It takes a lot out of you. Yeah. It took. Uh, when I first started trying these again, I was doing the wheel 10 sets of 10 all the way out and just, I wasn't going anywhere. It was cold one day, I was in the dorm and we had this uh, handicapped bathroom with a flat plate. It was just wide enough where I could do these when it was, it was hot because in too cold of weather I, I can't do can't work out. So I figured I'd try it. And I barely did six reps. I'm like, oh my fucking God. I'm doing 10 of 10 of the wheel. I can barely do these. Oh my God. I gotta switch this up and do these. And I went from that. It took uh, almost a year and a half before I do 10 sets of 10. And I was almost 10 years younger. So we're coming along really, really good. I think, but you know, outside while I'm older, I can time things better, I can eat better, a little more control of what's going on in the world.
I cannot stress enough until you're big enough and beefy enough to start ripping 10 sets of 10 to these totally flat ass plank to the top of your apex. I mean flat. Your your body's completely flat like this. I can't I can't even hold myself up for one rep, even for a partial, like just for a second. I'm not there. So I, I got called out in my dorm those boys, oh yeah, you think you're this and that. Them kids always called me out. I said, really? So I held myself up in the dorm, plank, boom. Not shaking, no problem for about five minutes. Just held myself up. I says, if you can't even give me one rep, you ain't nothing. They just shut up and walk away. They didn't even have a word. Shut everybody up. And I can't do that today. I'll be able to do it later. Building strength is a gradual process. Every time you try to push a little bit harder, a little bit harder, a little quarter rep, a little half a rep, a whole rep, whatever you can do, push a little bit more. It's a process. So that was four sets, four, three, three, and two reps. This will be our fifth set. We're going to check our time. Here we go. I cannot stress enough when you do this, do not swing, do not use momentum. You've got to power up with your strength. That's five. And 640, started at 624, <sighs> well, that's good, so that's uh, 26 minutes. And remember, I got a 45 minute period to do whatever work my workout is. No more, you can do less, but no more. Then you start pulling muscle off. The muscle's not firing properly, starts contracting, not expanding. You literally start pulling muscle off your body after 45 minutes. If you want to be a long di distance endurance athlete, that's fine. But if you ever notice, all them boys are skinny. Every one. You might have lots of muscle definition, but they're all skinny. If that's what you want to be, it's not a problem. That's why they have tracks. Go run around the track, go run around the park. It's totally a little different kind of athlete than what I am. Your body has to sustain continual movements over and over and over again for a long period of time, which means you need good joints. Uh. Oh. Until I can start ripping out sets of 10 of these, I'm not really worried about being too far apart of my time. <laughs> and I can't even get one set of five in yet. Even one time. I was really surprised when I was able to do four the first time, which we didn't get that on video. <sighs> so it's coming. It's coming. <sighs> but it ain't there yet. Not yet. Put on some marula oil on my body. When I touch it, it's a little, I haven't quite absorbed yet. I don't want any grease on my hands. Okay, this will be our sixth set of these. Oh. This, holding yourself up like that works here and here on your biceps, right, right at the ends, really, really well. It's one of the best exercises I know to work here. It doesn't work the center, it doesn't give you this curve, 
but it works the ends. So when you go like this, it bulges a little bit. See? Give you that little flare up. But if you want it to pop, you gotta do curls. The curls don't work the ends so well. This does. Okay, six. Okay, that was six, this will be seven. And massage your ligaments here where you go back up. Real important. That's what, that's what the stretch is. Pull those ligaments so they expand so you can get big. Right? Even remotely kind of sort of small, yet not alone big. But this is the process of how you get there. I've gotten big. So happy when I start pulling ten, a ten of these. Uh, I'm not there, but I will be. I will be. I'm not even in six months yet. This is the beginning of six months. We just crossed into January 2016. It takes time. Don't forget that. It takes time. Uh. Oh. Seven, we're gonna do eight here in a second. Okay, we're gonna give another flex here.
Again, massage those ligaments a little bit. Mm -hmm. Again, this is going to be a right set. These here. It'll take me about another year before I am at where I consider I'm in shape. That's how far away I am. Now I'll be the beginning of being in shape, you understand? That's the beginning, just touching the, the surface. There are degrees of being in shape. Some guys can scale a wall with their bare fingertips all the way up to the top of the mountain. That's beyond me. I will never be that athlete. But I can be in good shape with me. You set where you want to go and you achieve it. You set your goals, you work daily at it until you can achieve it. It's goals in bikes, goals in life, with kids, with family, with money, with being in shape. Whatever your goal is, you set it and you work towards it every day. Don't never lose sight of that goal. That's how you achieve it. It's the only way you achieve it. Work at it every day. Time off is for the week. No time off. Okay. Check our time. And at 6.50, I started at uh, 6.24. So I'm not quite 30 minutes in. That's good. Our time's getting better. I'm bringing it down right a bit. I'm going to give myself a little rest here. So I want to try and get two in and two more in, which I haven't been able to do yet. I have plenty of time to do it in my 45 minutes. The extra rep in the set matters a lot towards building strength. The end of your, your sets, or the higher end of your reps at the beginning of your sets, that's where you really start building your muscle and your strength. I'm really happy at how little my stomach is going poof with the swelling that it has from the exercise. So that means I'm building muscle and getting rid of the fat. That's a good thing. Give this to be nine. So we have the time, so we're going to go ahead and give it a little more flex here. So that flex will build up the ligaments and the cartilage so that the muscles you're trying to build have a support structure, have something to attach to. And if you don't give it that, it ain't happening, pal. It's going to build a big muscle and it's going to snap something. I've seen it happen over and over and over again. Okay, here we go. Number nine. Those sound effects when you're pushing it. 
Uh, that's nine. Okay, this is our tennis set. I'm give that little rest and a little stretch because I have time. I want to try to get two full reps in of 10. I mean, the first time I've ever been able to do that on this go around of getting in shape. not just swinging up and down like a monkey on a bar. You're actually trying to push the muscle and squeeze it. So when you're trying to build up from low reps to a higher rep, you gotta give it a little rest so you can actually push and squeeze. You gotta be ready because you're gonna give it your all when you do it. And squeeze all those muscles as hard as you can. And that's what the rest is about. So I'm ready to do that. We'll check our time and see what else we can do. Flex everything. Make sure you're limber enough to do it. Okay, so that's 10 sets, and it's 656. <sighs> so I'm gonna get one more wrap in here, maybe two. So I got time in my 45 minutes. I can certainly go up to 12 reps, no problem, without pulling out muscle. Or 12 sets, rather, not 12 reps. Getting tired. Oh. Don't have much, but we have some shape. You know, everything's taking shape. You can see the muscles starting to form. They're small, but they're coming. They're all there. That's the important thing, is I'm working all the muscle groups. You have to work all the muscle groups to all grow together. Yeah. Any guy has got 12 inch arms, 7 inch arms, he can certainly get to 15 inch. He may not get to 18 or 20, but he can get to 15. Anybody, everybody can get to 15. Okay, well I'm at 15 now. Anybody can get to this shape. Even an 80 year old guy. This is nothing, but it's better than being where I was. Oh. Okay. Now we're gonna see what I can do for an 11th rep. 
Whether it's one or two, we'll find out. Okay, it's just one. <laughs> Better than nothing. This is one. I'll put down the eleventh here. We'll hit one more set. I assume one more complete rep, maybe, if I'm lucky. Then we'll call it good. You know, I have time to do that little rest, and it's not the motion if I did woo. Another three movements to do one rep, I have to squeeze the muscle. I'm not getting what I should get out of it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try for a, a 12th. Uh, see what I can do or not. Like I said, make sure you squeeze that muscle. You don't even want to do just the one rep. So that's good. That's one, and that's the twelfth. And this is time. It's seven. Exact. Whew. Okay. So that gives me 36 minutes of abs. It's beautiful. So for my strength level, that got me good. I'm shaking. Time to get some proper sugar in my body. That doesn't mean refined sugar. Doesn't mean dessert. And some protein, some hydration. Right. So here we go. First things first is hydration. Let's off a little bit out here. See, I told you these were regular bananas, woman. You'd be rotten from the inside if these were organics. I know. Oh, that was good. Slowly increasing. You're not gonna. Go out one day and do two or three reps, and the next day do ten. Especially on an exercise like that. I'm 
again, a real ripe banana, lots of potassium, key ingredient for making your muscles fire, along with magnesium, and the type of sugar that's in a rotten banana, but as long as it's not alcohol, boosts your blood sugar better than anything else I know. My blood sugar spike between the working out, the stress of muscles, your metabolism is rev, blood sugar spike will allow the body to absorb the protein you're about ready to put in your body. Liquid, anything, absorbs better than a solid. This is easily digestible. The liquid that are in your cells makes it more digestible to your body, that's absorbed through your intestines better. You have a window of about 15 minutes after your workout to get protein into your body. Okay. Done workout, I walk in here, boom. Just like that. Finish, boom. Finish, boom. So if you're at the gym, you finish your workout, you put your protein and your sugars in your body, then you go take a shower. Don't take a shower first. Take care of your body first. Then you go do your shower. Again, we're going to put our royal jelly and cactus honey in. We get it at a good Korean market. Royal jelly is a real key food. They feed you queen bee. And remember, one of the most exhausting things you possibly do is give birth. That's all a queen bee does to sit around, have sex, and lay eggs. And this is all she eats. The entire colony comes from one queen. Remember that. Of thousands or tens of thousands or sometimes hundreds of thousands of bees from one queen. So think about how good this food is. Again, we're not on the masking or diet right now. We're not doing the ginger ale in half and half. We're not doing eight eggs after the workout and six egg eggs. Intermediary, we're just three eggs and five eggs post workout. And I figured I'd leaned out enough for another month, two months, three months, however long it is. Okay, it feels like the right time to me. Then I'll add the masking or diet back in. Now, everybody gets to see me get fat again. If you're going to gain weight, you start drinking half and half two and three times a day. <laughs> but some of that weight's going to become muscle. And you got to lean out again. It's a process. Okay, 
So again, you don't want cold water, you don't want hot water, you want it lukewarm or body temperature. So put a little hot in with it, zap it in the micro or whatever. Same thing with your eggs, I just got them out of the refrigerator. Well, I'm just going to warm them up a little bit. Give it 30 seconds for five eggs. So it's not so warm, it's not hot, it's not cooked. Just heats it up a little bit. So I don't drop my metabolism down. I want to keep it real high. Desiccated liver tablets every time I take protein. So prior to my workout, I took five with the eggs. Okay, and I ate an hour before that. Took five. Got up this morning, had eggs, or this afternoon, really. Had eggs. So we've been getting to bed about five in the morning. Waking up like two in the afternoon. <laughs> so I just can't deal with that noise in Emerson. Neither one of us it just drives us nuts. Just insane. Constant, constant noise just grating on you. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Ah, it irritated me. So, we're going to take care of that real soon. Not just today. See you all on the next edition of Todd's Prison Workout. Bye-bye.